about this street rod here, unique especially in classics. It's a 1955 Dodge Coronet, two-door post or two-door sedan. This car is actually Minnesota Street Rod Association's 2019 Custom of the Year. Powered by a 440 cubic inch Magnum V8 underneath the hood. That's paired up with a torque flight automatic transmission. Mopar eight and three quarter inch sure grip rear end. Take a look at the chrome in this beauty. You can see a more modern headlight Frenched in. Look at the chrome and bright work up front. Some custom pinstriping. Does have power steering as well as a dual master cylinder and front disc brakes. Check out all the still pictures, uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And of course, you can call us, 507-386-1726. Riding on American Racing. Polished wheels. Those are 17-inch, to be exact. It also has coilovers up front, drop spindles. The rear is a custom leaf spring setup and air shocks. Kind of a deep Merlot metallic paint. Shaved door handles, as you can see. Custom interior. We'll get around to the driver's side so you can check that out a little closer. I'll get into a few more details on the interior. First, let's finish taking a look down this passenger side. Again, some custom pinstriping, chrome and bright work, beautiful on this car. Coming around to the rear, has Frenched in 1956 Chevy taillights. Cool look. Chrome rear bumper, dual exhaust, and again, a little more pinstriping. Finish out the car in the trunk lid. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Look at how straight those panels are, reflection. You can see paint shows well on it. UniqueClassicCars.com. You'll be able to see the underside, interior, engine bay, trunk, um, underneath the car itself, the whole undersides. Another thing to remember, we do have an open door policy for third party inspectors. Can't make it to look at this one yourself. Maybe due to time and, or distance. Not a problem, open door policy for those guys. Again, look at how straight these panels are from the rear to the front, down the driver's side. Door poppers for driver's door, passenger door, as well as the trunk. I'm gonna show you how those work in a second. We're gonna start it up, let you hear it run, take a look at the engine bay at the very end of this video. We're gonna take this car for a drive, show you how it goes down the road too. If you like to check out, especially vehicles like this, say street rods, Maybe like muscle cars, pickups, anything that's just kind of cool, out of the ordinary, maybe some late model sports cars, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel here. You never know what you may see come through here. You just like looking at cars, check them out. All right, let's check out these door poppers. I'll show you. I have the key five in my hands, so I'm just going to hit this one. That door is going to pop. We're going to be able to easily open it up and take a look at this custom interior. Door panels. Of course, bucket seats. Center console. Tilt column. It also has this custom dash. It's kind of cool, more modern gauges as far as say like your uh, volts, fuel, uh, nice modern VDO gauges and they incorporated the original speedometer into that, banjo style steering wheel. Also a tachometer in there. And you'll be able to see this all in the still pictures. Over a hundred pictures of this car online. Every angle, top to bottom, inside and out. All right. One thing previous owner did mention, neutral safety switch. Make sure the center shifter is pushed all the way forward. So it engages that neutral safety switch. Grab the keys a second here since I got the popper in my pocket. Key fob on there for those poppers.
very cool how they kept that original speedometer. And then, like I said, you have the more modern video gauges, fuel, voltmeter, oil pressure over here, and water temp. That was a cold start. We're going to let this warm up a little bit. This one is a little bit cold blooded. It does have electric wipers installed. Those do work. I'm going to swipe once. More modern Kenwood stereo system. Yeah, you gotta love this dash. A little lighter contrasting paint on the inside, and then with the silver. All right, I think that's warmed up enough. B&M shifter, seat belts up front. You can see a vinyl cloth, dual color combination. Seating surface. Hey, listen to this. There's a little rumble coming out of that one. Let's go pop this hood open, check out this engine bay, and then, like I said, stick around to the very end of the video. We're going to drive this car, show you how it goes down the road. And here it is, that 440 Magnum V8. Dual horns up here. Aluminum radiator. Push the fan. MSD ignition. Edelbrock. Intake. Headers. Again, power steering. Dual master cylinder brakes with disc up front. There's a battery disconnect here also for when it's in storage or in between drives. Porker 440 Edelbrock intake. Four barrel carb. Check that out. 1955 Dodge Coronet. Minnesota Street Ride Association's 2019 Custom of the Year. Now available at uniqueclassiccars.com. Number to call, 507-386-1726. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation. And this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Today we're driving a slightly customized 1955 Dodge Coronet. Nice looking, nice running car. With some custom touches. We have a B&M automatic shifter right here on the floor. Sun Pro tachometer on the dash. Let's see how she does on the highway. Has a very cool exhaust sound. When you first started up, it's nice and I'd say a little bit like it wants to go fast, is what it sounds like. And it does a good job of that. Acceleration is good. Nice smooth right out of the suspension. Let it go to the wheel and start stays perfectly straight. Sitting up, good in the high of great visibility. Don't see very many of these cars, and one in this nice of color. 
custom condition is even rarer. Check out all the pictures. See that engine and undersides and anything else you want to know about this car. At uniqueclassiccars.com Or call us and get one of our